Hello everybody and welcome to Fuji Splits and I'm Fuji and this is a bit of a different video because this is a video about changes to the way that you are going to view content. Yeah, so basically there's been a lot of talk about Chopper, which is the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. It's a, it's a piece of American legislation. It's not new, guys. The, I mean, this is a really old bit of law. It came out in the early 2000s. And basically, it was to protect children from giving away data uh, and for people collecting data. And it was industry wide. And whilst it's an American piece of legislation, the Americans have extrajudicial reach when it comes to the Internet. And therefore, basically, it sort of affected everything except YouTube. Now, YouTube did a deal and their deal was basically, well, look, you know, to join YouTube, you've got to be over 13. Therefore, Chopper doesn't apply to YouTube because 13 year olds are not children, uh, allegedly. Apparently, the law in America is a 12 year old is a child you know, or below. So for a long time, YouTube got away with this. And then recently, however, they didn't get away with it. And the FTC in America basically held them to account, reviewed their their workings and said, no, YouTube, you're wrong. Um, this legislation does apply to you and we're going to fine you a lot of money. And YouTube did a deal. They settled it effectively. But what they then did was pass the book to all the content creators, the likes of me, for example, because I create content allegedly. And they basically did a deal with the FTC whereby now us, the content creators, are responsible. So YouTube sort of passed the book. And what they did, they said, you, the content creator, are now responsible to make sure that your videos are not aimed at children. And if you don't say they're aimed at children and they are aimed at children, then we can close your site down and the you can be fined forty five thousand dollars per video. Wow. I mean, that's a lot. So they give you a choice. And now when you do a video, you have to say either yes, it's aimed at children or no, it's not aimed at children. In the latter, if it's not aimed at children, they shove it through some <clears throat> machine some artificial intelligence which will determine whether or not it's suitable for kids if it is aimed at children and you've not stated it's aimed for children then your site will be removed and you will be fined forty five thousand dollars per video wow i mean that's a lot of money guys if however you decide to err on the side of caution and tick the little box saying yeah it's aimed at kids then the following will happen you will no longer get ad revenue <laughs> because you just won't get click through rates. You will no longer have a community tab. You will no longer be able to have comments. You will no longer be able to have a playlist. You will no longer be able to have subscribers, so to speak. So there's a lot of stuff happening. And how does this affect World of Tanks Blitz? I mean, you guys watch World of Tanks Blitz. Now I look at my stats and yeah, I, I haven't got a lot of subscribers. I've got just over 2,000 for Christ's sake. Um, and the demographic for my subscribers is 17 year olds upwards. And the game itself, World of Tanks Blitz, if you go onto all the apps, is aimed at 12 year olds plus. So the game itself is not aimed at children. And I would argue that my content is not aimed at children. However, here's the catch. It's a game. And despite the fact that it's marketed for 12 year olds plus, and despite the fact that I will argue, and a lot of people argue it's not aimed at kids, it's a game. And therefore, games could fall under a category because the law that they've brought in is very ambiguous indeed because it has a phrase appealing to children. What does that mean? Now, I know plenty of children under the age of 13, under the age of 12, who play Blitz. Therefore, would it be fair to say that it appeals to children? Of course it appeals to children. It's a bloody game, for Christ's sake. As a game, it appeals to kids, which means we could run afoul of, basically, being penalized but how does this affect you 
Well, it affects you in many ways because if the content creators decide to err on the side of caution, then you won't be able to comment and you won't be able to save to a playlist and you won't be able to do all the things that you currently do on YouTube. If the content creators decide that it's not suitable for children, it's not marketed to children, and they tick that box and this artificial intelligence software decides they were wrong, then these YouTube channels will go. It's as simple as that. So this is like a really sort of mad piece of legislation. Well, the legislation, it's not mad. Let, let's be honest. I mean, it's, it's a good thing. I mean, you shouldn't be able to target kids and their privacy. And the way that the internet works, especially YouTube, is what happens every time you go into a site, it, it basically, if you log into your account, it, 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 it collects information about what you watch and what you do, and then it will recommend videos for you. Not only that, it will target ads for you. So every time you go into, you know, there, there'll be ads targeted, especially for you, funnily enough. <clears throat> and this is how content creators make their money. But all this is set to change in January 2020. And, you know, I don't know how it's going to work, guys. I mean, it's 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 a good law because it protects children's privacy. And it's also a crazy, it's not a crazy law. It's a crazy way that YouTube have tackled the subject. They've effectively washed their hands with it and made the content creators responsible, which I don't necessarily disagree with because content creators should be responsible. I mean, they earn money from this. Okay, we don't earn massive amounts. I mean, I certainly don't earn any money realistically from this thing. But there is an obligation on the content creators to make sure that they're doing the right thing. And if they're not doing the right thing, then yeah, they should be out into account. You know, I mean, if you if you troll through YouTube, there's loads of rubbish on there. And, you know, a lot of it is designed towards kids. Some of it is acceptable, some of it is not. But it's not about is it acceptable or not. It's about is it targeting children and is it collecting their privacy? So it, it brings in this sort of argument. What happens with Blitz? Will you lose your favorite content creators? Uh, will it change? Will you no longer be able to save those, um, those those things? Will you no longer be able to subscribe or comment or talk or whatever? And, and that's the thing about this law. It's uncertain. In fact, if you speak, I mean, I'm a lawyer by trade, but if you speak to a lot, if you if you look on the YouTube and you'll see loads of lawyers are talking about this thing, they haven't got a clue. They don't know how it's going to work. They have no idea. Because the algorithm that it, uh, is going to be introduced to determine whether this is for children or not, nobody knows. And if you don't know how it's going to work, if you don't know the algorithm, if you don't understand it, it it's ambiguous at best. So, you know, a lot of my friends, are, are, I've got YouTube channels, um, which is the reason I'm doing this video. So I'm just perfectly aimed at the subscribers. And you need to be careful, guys. Because some of you will do, you know, Minecraft and other things, and you need to be aware of what's going on. And if your videos are aimed at kids or they appeal to kids, then you could run afoul of this law. And despite the fact that you don't live in America, you're not American, there is extrajudicial reach under the FTC because YouTube is an American based um, product. So you could end up being fined $45,000 per video. I've got hundreds of videos. I mean, it's, if, you know, if I do a rough calculation now, let's say I've got, I don't know, I've got something like in the region of 120 videos. So you know, there's no way I can afford $5.4 million worth of fines. It's just it's not possible. I, I've never earned, five, you know, I don't earn $5.4 million from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I could be potentially fined $5.4 million per video, including the live stream videos. And if you go onto YouTube now and you, 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 you make a video like I'm making this one, when you upload it, YouTube will give you a box to tick. Is it aimed at children or is it not aimed at children? So it, it's it's pretty difficult. My advice, for what it's worth, 
is the following. As I said, World of Tanks Blitz officially has a age limit of 12 plus. Therefore, it's not necessarily legally intended for children. But don't forget, YouTube ran this argument also. They said YouTube is not aimed at children either because you have to be 13 to have a YouTube account and be a content creator. So it's a fine line here, guys. But I'm going to run a disclaimer um, on all my videos going forward saying that this game, World of Tanks Blitz, is aimed at 12 years plus and therefore is not aimed at children and does not appeal to children in the strictest sense of the word. I don't know if that will work, is the honest answer. It's the only thing I can think of at the moment legally to stop me from getting a massive fine or losing all my, you know, playlists, etc, etc. And, you know, I'm by no means a media lawyer or a social media lawyer. <clears throat> I'm actually a construction lawyer by trade. But I think that's a reasonable defense. If if something is not marketed for children and the game isn't, strictly speaking, then how can my video content be aimed at children? That's just my two pennies worth. Now, there's loads of things on this Chopra stuff, and I'm not going to go into all the nits and gritties like some of the other content creators and other people have gone into. This is just a brief overview. Um, there is also apparently an online petition. so by all means get over there sign it and tell people that well it's not a stupid law i have to get this across it's not a stupid law the law is designed for what it's designed for which is the protection of children and that is a great thing i don't think youtube are wrong i think the content creators do have a responsibility so i'm not criticizing what's going on i'm just concerned that things may go the wrong way and the youtube that you know and love may not be the youtube you get next year and you know i just think forty five thousand dollars per per video is a is a bit of a hefty fine it's a bit stupid but does that mean the end of content for world of tanks bits no does it bugger i'm going to still churn out content although i've been absolutely absent for the last month but i'll still churn out content and i'm going to have a cup of coffee if you don't mind me and I'm going to put the I'm going to put the disclaimer in saying that this game is not aimed at children. It's it's for twelve year olds plus, and therefore I I should not be penalised for 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 doing this. And if I'm penalised, then World of Tanks Blitz should be penalised, surely. <laughs> not that they should, because they clearly state that the game is aimed at twelve year olds plus. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. It'd be interesting to see if most of our sites get closed down because YouTube does have the ability to close us down now. Um, if we run afoul, if we don't market our videos correctly, I would suggest and advise to any content creator out there, get onto your advanced settings tab, look at the tick boxes you have to tick, put your disclaimer in there in your in your profiles, in your about files, saying that this is a, a game that's marketed for 12 year olds upwards, and therefore it's strictly speaking, it's not aimed at children and therefore shouldn't appeal to children. Do yourself, do, do yourself a favor, do as much to protect yourself guys, because the last thing you want is your channel being removed or, you know, hefty fines coming your way or worse still, having somebody rule that your channel is for children and you losing everything in other words your revenue stream your your ability to attract subscribers your ability to have comments your ability to have playlists just protect yourself guys that's a short video um i've been a bit busy for the last month and the reason why i've not been around um it's always crazy this time of year everybody wants to sue everybody before christmas so it's been a bit mad Everything will be back to normal now. I did a, a live stream the other day. I will start doing more live streams going forward. The time difference between me and Europe at the moment is a bit crap. It's four hours between, the UK is four hours behind me at the moment. But yeah, it, it happens and I'm sure we'll find a workaround solution to that. I will start getting and churning out the videos um, starting today. So there will be some replays of the week coming up. I apologize to all of you who sent in your replays um, and I haven't shown them for over a month. I just haven't been around, guys. Real life, unfortunately, intervened, got in the way, and that stuff does happen. Anyway, I've been Fujit. 
that's been my insight into Chopper, which is not a new law. It's just a new way of working for YouTube. Stay tuned for more content. It will be coming up soon. And until then, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield, guys, and happy tanking, because, you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.